Hello and welcome back to Moto Stylist Channel. Suzuki has revamped its flagship adventure bike, the V-Strom 1050, for 2023 with a host of changes that aim to improve its off-road performance and appeal. The new models, dubbed the V-Strom 1050DE and 1050DE Adventure, replace the previous XT and XT Adventure versions and feature a larger 21-inch front wheel, longer travel suspension, wider handlebars, and more advanced electronics. The V-Strom 1050 has been around since 2002, when it debuted as the V-Strom 1000 with a 996 cubic centimeters V-twin engine derived from the TL1000S sport bike. Over the years, it has grown in displacement to 1037 cubic centimeters and gained more power and torque, while retaining its smooth and reliable character. The bike has also evolved in styling, adopting a beak-like front fender that pays tribute to Suzuki's DR Big, the first big bore adventure bike that pioneered the look in the late 80s. However, the V-Strom 1050 has always been more of a road-oriented tourer than a dirt-ready explorer, with its alloy frame, cast wheels, and 19-inch front 17-inch rear tire combination. That's why Suzuki decided to give it a major makeover for 2023, introducing the V-Strom 1050DE and 1050DE adventure models that are more capable and confident on unpaved surfaces. The most noticeable difference is the new 21-inch front wheel, which is paired with a tube tire and conventional spokes. The rear wheel remains a 17-inch unit with a tubeless tire and cross spokes. The larger front wheel improves stability and traction on rough terrain, while the rear wheel maintains good grip and handling on pavement. The suspension has also been upgraded, with longer travel at both ends and fully adjustable settings. The rake and trail have increased slightly, resulting in a more relaxed steering geometry. The V-Strom 1050DE also gets a wider handlebar that is made of softer aluminum for better shock absorption and comfort. The footrests are new as well, with a larger surface area and rubber inserts that can be removed for more grip. The seat height is unchanged at 33.5 inches, but the bike's overall height has grown by an inch due to the taller suspension. The electronics package has been enhanced too, with a new 6-axis IMU that enables lane-sensitive ABS, link brakes, hill hold control, cruise control, three power modes and three traction control modes. A new color TFT instrument panel displays all the information and settings clearly. The V-Strom 1050DE also has an off-road mode for the traction control that allows more slip and a rear ABS off switch for more control when braking on loose surfaces. The engine remains unchanged from the previous model year, producing a claimed 106 horsepower and 74 pound-feet of torque from its liquid-cooled DOHC 90-degree V-twin. The transmission is a six-speed unit with a bi-directional quick shifter for clutchless upshifts and downshifts. The fuel tank holds 5.3 gallons of gas, giving the bike an estimated range of over 200 miles. The V-Strom 1050DE Adventure adds some extra features to the base model, such as engine guards, hand guards, LED fog lamps, center stand, heated grips, aluminum luggage cases, and an accessory bar. Both models come in two color options, metallic reflective blue metallic matte black number two or solid iron gray metallic matte black number two. The V-Strom 1050DE and 1050DE Adventure are expected to arrive in dealerships in early 2023, with prices starting at $15,649 and $18,199 respectively. They will compete with other big adventure bikes such as the BMW R1250GS Adventure, Honda Africa Twin, KTM 1290 Super Adventure R, Triumph Tiger 1200, Yamaha Tenera 700, and Ducati Multistrada V4. Suzuki hopes that these updates will attract more riders who are looking for a versatile and reliable adventure bike that can handle any terrain and condition. The V-Strom 1050DE and 1050DE Adventure are engineered for the unexpected, offering a stronger connection between rider and machine. 
Well that's a wrap for our review. Thanks for joining us today on Moto Stylish.